Howdy, partner. Have you ever been driving through the countryside and seen a boot hanging on a fence? No, it's not some kind of weird new fashion statement. There's actually some pretty cool symbolism behind it. Ranch culture is still alive and kicking in many parts of the U.S., and those cowboys sure do have some unique traditions. Now, let's talk about those boots. Why hang them on fences? There are a few reasons. Sometimes, a rancher will hang a boot on a fence to honor a beloved horse that has passed. When a cowboy had a close bond with his trusty steed, it can be a really emotional time. So, hanging up his boots is a way of showing respect for the animal. Sometimes a cowboy will hang a boot for the same reason for a fellow rancher. It's a way of paying a tribute to their friend and showing that they won't be forgotten. It's not all gloomy though. Sometimes boots on a fence simply mean they have been worn out. Ranchers can get really attached to their trusty footwear. And when they get worn out from all that hard work, hanging them up on a fence is a way of honoring all the sweat and tears that have gone into making the ranch run smoothly. There's also an old school tradition of hanging boots up to let others know that the rancher is home. Before telephones and electricity made communication so easy, this was a way of letting outsiders know that the rancher was around and available. Be it on a ranch or off, people in America have a lot of other quirky customs. Ever seen a porch ceiling painted blue? It's not just a fancy choice of color. It's actually a southern tradition known as a haint blue. People believe that this special hue of paint keeps evil spirits away, and it might even scare off those pesky mosquitoes too. Now, if you happen to come across a fence painted purple, don't go crossing over into private property. That purple paint is a silent no trespassing sign that means business. You see, signs often get lost or damaged, but this paint ain't going anywhere. So it's a more permanent way to keep people out. Plus, it adds a pop of color to the scenery. Feeling lucky? Well, hang an iron horseshoe above your door and you might just get some good fortune heading your way. This old Irish tradition has now become a staple of Western cowboy culture and people believe that it can ward off evil spirits. Ever found a dryer sheet in your mailbox during the summertime? There's no need to be alarmed. Your friendly neighborhood mail carrier left it there to help keep wasps and yellow jackets away. We all know how much of a buzzkill it can be to get stung by these guys. So postal workers have come up with a way to prevent that from happening. Apparently, scented dryer sheets are an effective way to keep these pests from setting up shop in cozy places like mailboxes. If you're wondering why this works, it's because wasps don't particularly like strong aromatic scents like eucalyptus, citronella, and cloves. And because dryer sheets are meant to give our clothes a thorough freshening up, their scents are potent enough to deter wasps from entering. If you see a dryer sheet in your mailbox, make sure to thank your mail carrier for the handy tip. And don't forget to switch the sheet every now and then to keep the scent fresh and strong. Of course, if you do happen to spot a wasp nest forming, don't be a hero. Call a professional or take all the necessary precautions to get rid of it ASAP. You'll be able to enjoy the great outdoors without any unwanted stings. You might have once looked up at the sky and seen something unusual, like a pair of shoes dangling from a power line. You're not alone in wondering what in the world they're doing up there. Some people say that the shoes are there as a form of celebration. Maybe someone just finished school, graduated from college, or even got a date with their crush. It's kind of like throwing confetti, but with shoes instead. But not everyone is convinced that shoes on power lines are a harmless way to celebrate. Some people think that they might be a sign of trouble. Maybe someone lost a bet and had to throw their shoes up there as a punishment. Or maybe it's a secret code for a gang that's up to no good. One thing we do know is that the tradition of throwing shoes has been around for a long time. Even before electricity was invented, people were chucking shoes as a form of personal expression. Some cultures used to throw shoes at newlyweds to wish them good luck, while others tossed them to symbolize the end of a chapter in their lives. You know how it is when you see a fluffy pup and you just want to give it all the pets and scratches in the world? You might want to hold on just a little bit and pay close attention to the dog before doing so. 
If you spot a dog wearing a red collar, bandana, or leash, it might be a sign that this pup needs some space. Red is the universal stop symbol, like what you see on stoplights and stop signs. It's a signal that this doggo might be aggressive or easily provoked, so it's best to give them some distance. Now, I'm not saying that every dog wearing red is going to bite you, but it's always a good idea to err on the side of caution. And if you see a service dog or working dog with a red collar, they might be on duty and not up for pets and scratches. But don't worry, not all red wearing pups are scary or off limits. Some are participating in activities like canine scent work and need their space to focus on their job. And if you ever have any doubts or questions, just ask the owner. They know their dog best and can tell you if it's safe to approach or not. If you're a curious foodie, you've surely seen some colorful circles on the packaging of your favorite snacks and treats. They're not just for decoration or to confuse you. These symbols actually serve a very important purpose in the printing world. Think of them as little ink spies. They help the printing team make sure the colors they're using on the packaging are just right. And I'm not talking about your basic colors like red, blue, and green. I'm talking about all sorts of shades and hues. Sometimes a brand uses very specific colors, which are tricky to obtain on the packaging. The circles are there to make sure they get it right every time. Those circles also help keep your favorite brands consistent all over the world. Whether you're munching on candy bars in Shanghai or snacking on chips in Sarajevo, you can trust that you're getting the same great taste and packaging. If you like to travel with friends from all over the world, you might have noticed something peculiar about their passport covers. They never have unusual colors. I mean, you've never seen a yellow passport, right? There's a reason for that. Apparently, the International Civil Aviation Organization has some pretty strict rules when it comes to official documents, including passports. They require all countries to use a specific typeface, size, and font to make sure everything looks uniform and professional. Surprisingly, the color isn't actually one of the requirements. That's right, countries can, in fact, choose any color they want. But here's the trick. Most countries stick to the basic shades of red, green, or blue. That's because those colors make passports look more official. And they're great at hiding any dirt or wear and tear. After all, nobody wants a passport that looks like it's been through a storm you can customize it with a fancy cover if you're dreaming about that yellow passport, though. That's it for today. So, hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.